Hey, it's me, MLB. Here's chapter 33 of Rapid Fate Online, and this one is titled Red Bear. You and Butterfly quickly gathered things from the cart before heading over to the first lot of casualties. Are you okay? You asked the first injured player that you came across. Yeah, he grunted. I just feel really weak. That thing came out of nowhere. You knelt down beside him and lifted his head up so that you could help him have a drink of healing potion. The guard said it was a red bear? Yeah, that's right. Red bear. Acting strange too. Front legs glitched a bit every now and again. It's not supposed to be on this level so maybe it's a game fault. He said as his health bar refilled and he sat up. Oh, I feel good again now. Thanks heaps. He smiled. No problem. Just get to safety now, okay? He said, pointing to the city gates. Will do. He replied as he hopped up and ran off. You quickly went to the next person and helped them the same way, giving out health potions that you had and asking for their take on what happened. Suddenly you heard a loud roar from your right and quickly looked over to see what it was. The red bear had appeared again from the nearby trees and had raised itself to full height on its hind legs. Your blood ran cold as it opened its mouth and let out a loud bellow. Oh no. It looked around and saw a player, still on the ground nearby, and dropped down on all fours again, ambling over to the player before leaning its head down and crunching right through the petrified player's abdomen, shattering him instantly. You gasped and covered your mouth to muffle a scream and froze where you were crouched on the ground beside the trembling player that you had just nursed back to health. Butterfly, where's Butterfly? You suddenly thought, whipping your head back and forth as you looked around for him. He was nowhere to be seen. Where is he? You paused for a moment, contemplating whether or not to call out for him, as making any noise right now could mean certain death. Your eyes found the bear again, and you realised, with horror, that it had spotted you and was looking directly at you. Oh no. No, 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 this is bad. The bear started stalking purposefully towards you, making terrifying grunting noises as it approached, its front leg glitching and the cursor above its head a definite monster red. Butterfly? Butterfly? You called nervously. The bear roared. Butterfly? You screamed. Just then there was a flash of navy blue and Butterfly flew in from the side, plunging his sword deep into the bear's shoulder. The beast bellowed out and staggered away at the impact, then turned its wrath on Butterfly. On, get the injured player's way! Butterfly called as he turned the bear's attention on himself. You quickly helped the healed player up and instructed him to grab other players nearby and drag them out of the way to somewhere safe behind the bear. While you worked, Butterfly coaxed the bear away from all the casualties and kept its focus on him while you hurried to heal as many people on the spot as you could and then asking them to help move the other injured ones. Occasionally you'd glance up to see how Butterfly was doing and it looked like he had the situation well and truly under control, just toying with the bear enough to keep its attention fixed on him. Once you had moved everyone out of the way, you yelled to Butterfly. We're good now, you hollered to him, and within a few seconds and a few well-placed strikes, Butterfly finished the bear off. A crowd had gathered at the city gates and all cheered wildly when they saw the terrifying red bear had been defeated. You smiled when you saw them cheering for your man, and he seemed almost embarrassed to have such a large gathering watching his performance. My hero, you said proudly as he approached you. The only person I'd ever want to be hero to, he said, looking lovingly down at you. You both walked over to the city gates and were engulfed by people thanking and praising your efforts. Butterfly and the lovely rat merchant, if you need somewhere to stay tonight, please consider my inn, one lady addressed you. You'll be given free accommodation and food for saving my husband's life, she added. I'm indebted to you both. That's very kind of you, Butterfly said softly. We will accept your gracious offer. You were smiling on the outside, but dying on the inside. The lovely rat merchant. Really? So, what's your take on it? You asked Butterfly as you and he walked up the hall to your room for the night at the inn. The red bear incident? He asked. You nodded. I'm not sure, but I think it might be a glitch in the game, he mused thoughtfully, putting the key in the inn room door and opening it. There was that toad on level 1, and now this bear on level 4. You nodded. A few players I spoke to said they thought the same thing, that it was a game fault. I hope the game masters fix the glitch soon because it could become cause a lot of problems if it keeps happening. Entering the room, Butterfly removed his coat and hung it up before sitting down on the bed. Well, it could be that, or it could be that someone has brought it down to this level, 
but I doubt that would be the case because it had a red monster cursor and not a green cursor. If it had a green one, it would indicate that it's a beast tamer's pet. Can a beast tamer release a pet? You asked. No, not in RFO. Once you have a pet, it's yours until it dies. You then have the option of reviving it or taming another animal, he said as you hopped up on the bed beside him, kneeling there. He reached out a hand and patted your head gently and you leaned in and kissed his cheek. He blushed and moved away to lie down on the bed. Come here, he said timidly with his arms open. You obeyed and crawled over the top of him, gently lowering yourself down onto his body. His face went bright red as his hands caressed your sides, one hand running down your back and smoothing out your tail gently. Are you okay there? You asked with a little giggle. This is the best day of my life, he squeaked, his body trembling from excitement. You chuckled and rolled off him and then snuggled into his side. You need to cool down a bit before the nerve gear disconnects you from the game due to high heart rate, you laughed. And that's the end of chapter 33. Stay tuned for chapter 34.